today, I flew school. Say hello to the watershed model. A watershed is an area of land where all the water flows to a common point, from a high place to a low place. This is a high place. The lowest place is down here at the common point where all the water flows to. This watershed has different areas in it. Right down here in this corner, we've got a farm. Back here, we have a road and a parking lot with a building that could be like a big store. We also have a neighborhood. In the very back corner, there's a little development with a bulldozer and a bunch of dirt. The highest point has a bunch of dogs, and I like to call it the dog park. Down in the common point, we've got frog, otter, boat, boat, and two turtles. What happens to an area of land that has so much going on in it? There's this word called pollution. Pollution is something that gets in the air, water, or land that can hurt living things, like plants, animals, and people. What kinds of pollution do we have in our area of land? Dirt does belong on the land, but it doesn't really belong in the air or the water. Scat is a scientific word for poop. <coughs> Dirt and scat have something in common. These kinds of pollution have always been around. Oil is something that comes out of the ground, and it's used for energy. If you see any of these things in our watershed, you're probably also going to find oil. <coughs> litter, and especially plastic litter, is a very common thing to find in our area of land these days. <coughs> if you time traveled back before the year 1900, you wouldn't see very much oil or plastic. Where are we going to find oil? We're going to find it in places that have cars. On the farm, we also have tractor, and tractor can leak oil. Same with this bulldozer. Boat can leak oil. We find dirt in places where it's not protected by plants. In this model, plants are green, concrete is gray, and unprotected dirt is brown. Where do we find unprotected dirt in our area of land? I'm going to put this dirt on the farm, because there's a lot of loose dirt on this farm. We're also seeing loose dirt in the dog park. 
We're also going to put dirt in the development where the bulldozer is pushing a bunch of dirt around. Plus, over here on the bank. Scat! Where are you going to find it? Wherever you find animals. Horse, chickens, rabbits, dogs, sheep, and horse all make scat. Dogs do make scat. Have you ever found some dog scat in your neighborhood? I sure have. In the parking lot, in the neighborhood, on the road, because people tossed it out of their cars. Sometimes we find litter at the park. In the summer, it doesn't really rain, so it's easy for the pollution to build up. But in the fall, the rain comes back. A rainstorm is going to pass through. Watch what happens to the pollution as rain hits the area of land. We can see that the force of gravity has really been happening. Gravity is that force that pulls everything down towards the center of the Earth, and that includes water. Our low point is down here. Right by the otter and the boat and the turtles and the frogs. There's an animal that you don't see in the blue area. It's hanging out underneath where the water is collecting. Let's see who's in there. Ooh, it's fish. What is going on with fish? Fish is hanging out in all the water that washed off the land. Are you very happy? No, I'm not. Sorry, bud. What is inside this water? Dirt, poop oil, and plastic litter that all washed in here. Is this water healthy for the fish? Is it healthy for you to drink and swim in and catch fish in? Don't you and your neighbors deserve access to clean water? Don't the animals that live here deserve clean water too? What can we do to make sure this pollution doesn't happen? Pollution. Solution. If there's fewer cars on the road, there's less oil too. Ride a bike. Walk. Or take the bus. Throw your plastic litter in the garbage can. And use less plastic when you can. Keep dirt out of the water by keeping it where it belongs, on the land, with plants. Keep the poo out of the slough by picking up dog scat and then throw it away. 
Remember, a watershed is an area of land where all the water flows to a common point. This is the area of land where all the water flows to the Columbia Slough. When we take care of the land, we take care of the water. She's your